Here's a quick video just to demonstrate the new AGC features in firmware version 1.0.0.0.1.7 for QMX and uh, I've got the QMX here on 40 meters attached to my antenna and you can see the band noise there is about S6 or S7 as shown here on the S meter. Quite high I know but my antenna fell down. So for a test signal I'm going to use my old QCX here in this in this nice enclosure and I've got a message stored in there and it's loosely coupled with just a, a wire as an antenna just loosely coupled but it generates a massive signal. So let me turn up the audio. I've got a powered small powered speaker here. Um, so hopefully you can hear that. Now, the AGC system is off. Let me start the message. You can see it, it's really very loud. So that's really very loud and uh, very distorted. That would be very uncomfortable if you had headphones in. Um, it equates on the S meter to about S9 plus 30 dB. So it's a very extreme example. Now I'm going to switch on the AGC and um, you can see here in the AGC menu we have a number of different parameters. All of these parameters are configurable. The whole action of the AGC is configurable and these are all explained in the operating manual for this firmware version. So I'm switching it on now. And you can see the immediate effect. It's quite a, got quite a slow action time. The immediate effect there is to increase the noise level by a few dB. Because there are no signals. So now you can see also um, the, lower, the lower bar here of the two is going to show the AGC action and I've configured it for 3 dB per pixel so it's indication that the AGC has kicked in and is working when you see something in that lower bar. The top bar still shows the S meter here. So now I'm going to start the transmission and you'll be able to hear the difference. So that's basically no longer overloading the speaker and you can see it's kicked in a large amount of attenuation here, about 36 dB of attenuation. And then you can see the AGC fall off and, and the noise come back up. So that's just a short demonstration and all of these parameters for the AGC action are all configurable. Um, on the menu, so hopefully it provides plenty to experiment with, but um, it appears to be a very effective AGC action even on such a gigantic signal. Hope you like it.